what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie Bialdi. <coughs> so we're going to talk favorites today. And I'm going to go um, pretty well-rounded, but it's still going to be pretty quick. Um, favorites, uh, as far as carry and use as either a weapon or a tool, however you're going to use it, it's up to you. Um, the, the favorites between firearms and knives and, and whatever else. I mean, you can have war clubs if you want, but I'm going to stick with like my, my top knife and my top gun for a different couple categories. Um, and I'm going to start with knives. I'm going to start with my blades and, um, I would have to start with, um, my favorite, uh, folding knife. So I don't want to say my favorite EDC, because my favorite EDC and my favorite folding knife are two different things. But my favorite folding knife oh, is the Badlands Bowie. Oh my goodness. This is ADV Tactical Andre de Villers. Um, the, this thing is just ridiculous. Um, it is a frame lock. It's titanium. Um, uh, titanium uh, um, frag style so it's like a grenade so it's the, the frag pattern um straight up buoy knife absolutely ridiculous nastiness this knife is this knife is super duper dope um so when it comes down to my favorite folding knives i'm gonna say 100 percent this one right here the andre de villers adv tactical Badlands buoy. Now, will that will any of these change? Sure, some of them could change. I know I have my own personal folder coming, and it's in production now. Will I like it more than this? I don't know. I mean, I love it from my design, but man, Andre de Villers, he just created a different kind of animal. So that's my favorite folding knife out of all my knives that I have that fold. That is my favorite one, even though today. <laughs> <laughs> complete opposite this is my carry blade for the day it's a ned foss this thing is pretty damn big it's huge actually um but this is what's in my pocket today is a ned foss blade even though my favorite folding knife is right there so my favorite actual edc knife like my favorite all-around use carry do whatever i'm gonna do with it every single day is the d-bad little big man designed by me for exactly what I wanted an EDC to be a perfect EDC size blade but with an actual full size full tang grip just the way it is this knife is so comfortable in the hand it does everything it's got a really nice wide blade it's a little beast and I, I have a, um, a sheath by Elemental Made that he custom made me the D-bad on there really cool it's a really sweet sheath it just makes this a joy to have with me but um without a doubt uh, my favorite edc my favorite just regular carry is going to be this guy right here i mean i couldn't love this one anymore micarta grips full tang just perfect edc so that's that now my favorite regular fixed blade my favorite I, I could do it in different categories i could say my favorite survival knife my favorite large buoy my favorite but that'll take too long there's a whole lot to go through so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tell you my favorite favorite fixed blade uh knife and this is it was a grail knife for me and i couldn't find one perfect i couldn't find one that I wanted because I wanted to be able to use it and I just did a video using it. So Kydex instead of leather because I wanted to bring it into a new age. Micarta instead of wood because I wanted to bring it into a new age. Full Tang instead of uh, that burn-in because I wanted to bring it to a new age. Steel guard, steel hand guard, steel spine guard because I wanted to bring it to a new age. So this is my D-Bad Big Jim. This is my version of the famous uh, Muso Bui. Um, and I, I looked all around for one that would just be perfect. I wanted from, you know, this point to this point to be exact like what Jim Bui carried. 
the exact same thing, the distance from here to here, the lift from here to here, every little thing had to be exact in measurement this way. Um, this one's a little thicker, but everything from there to there, when I looked at this, aside from coloration difference, this would be brass on the original, and this would be like a, uh, like a stainless, just a brushed, um, or polished, uh, everything looking at it spec to spec from there is 100% Jim Bowie from here to here. Now I, I had to create an entire new handle, a new grip, and you can see it is a big grip. This will fit anybody's hands. I mean, anybody's hands. Um, but my, my all time number one grail knife was a fully functional badass muso buoy and the only way i knew i could get exactly what i wanted because i wanted jim buoy's knife was to design it myself how did i get jim buoy's knife um i went to a museum in texas where it was traveling the the, the muso buoy it was traveling through different places and uh i went in there after hours and they gave me a private uh showing of the Muso Bowie and I went and took pictures and then I did all my specs from here to here off of that original blade. So this thing right here is by far and away, by far and away, my favorite knife. This means the most because I literally got to take the specs from an original Bowie and build mine even better. I mean, it's so it's just everything everything i wanted so now we're going to get into some uh some pew pews um i i have some some different ways i can go around this i, I have like my favorite semi-auto my favorite um revolver but then i have small like pop my favorite i can say my favorite pocket guns and all that but i don't know if i'll get into all that i'm just going to go with my favorite revolver my favorite semi-auto and i'm going to talk about two rifles um one is my favorite uh, rimfire rifle so my favorite plinker and it's going to be this guy right here this is a ground up custom build that i made um because i love custom building my own got my torch there uh got my hundred times zoom um uh scope on there it's just ridiculous um this thing was it was literally a ground up custom build uh, you can see the paint job. The whole stock, when I got the stock, came this gray color that you can see lining through there, kind of like Eddie Van Halen's guitar. You can see the gray stripes. It was gray. So what I did is I ripped some tape and I made it wavy and I taped across and then I spray painted this whole thing tan. Then I took some needles from a, from a pine tree and I did the rest of the paint job and it just came out awesome. But this one right here, whew, man, this thing is just freaking awesome. I literally, with this rifle, they call them nail punchers. I literally at 50 yards, put a nail in a piece of wood, and boom, hammered in the nail with a round from that at 50 yards. At 50 yards, I also, I took an arrow, I shot it into a piece of wood. I went 50 yards back, and I shot the back of the arrow to split the arrow. Um, that thing is so deadly accurate. It's awesome. So then it comes down to my favorite rifle rifle, right? My bigger round. And I was going to say this one, but it's technically classified as a pistol because it's shortened and it's got the short barrel and, and the pistol uh, uh, a rear. So I'm not going to go with that. But as luck would have it, I build guns. I built this one ground up and I built another one ground up. So this thing, this is my my Punisher rifle, um, another hundred zoom, uh, just fantastic. This thing right here, you hit it with your hand. It's a bipod, and you just close it up. Um, it is an absolute amazing piece of pew pew. This thing is super super awesome. Um, just a great, great rifle. Uh, so if I had to say my favorite rifle is, um, is that one. It is, is that one. I mean, 
I, I built so many ARs over the years, and uh, those are the only two I've, I've kept. They're just awesome. So, my favorite handguns. This is a Performance Center Smith & Wesson 627 Pro Series. This thing, all the Performance Center guns are handmade, hand tested by uh, this one guy who's the only one who does all the testing. This thing is amazing. Um, all the guns are empty, by the way. There's no rounds in any guns. Um, as you can see, is it? This is a eight round, eight round, 357 Magnum um, end frame, and it is smooth as silk. Normally, you have your your handguns will go down like a production line. They have a box of parts for every gun, and they take the frame and then they put in a certain part. Next guy will put in maybe this certain part, and they go through. And then it goes to the testing, and some guy will go, boom, okay, make sure it shoots. Yep, it shoots. It's good. Not a performance center gun. A performance center gun, you take the frame, and then every piece that goes into the gun, this one and the other one, um, is, is specifically made for this gun only. So they're not production line pieces. They are handmade, everything down the line, just awesome. Then it goes to a, a guy for testing who is an absolute pro, and he makes sure everything is right. I mean, the spring, the tensions, everything has to be 100% perfect. And that's why if you're going to buy a Smith & Wesson, go Performance Center. They are the freaking best. This thing right here is beautiful. This is not the way the grip comes. Um, I put those on. Super duper comfortable. This thing, it's not only beautiful, and I mean beautiful, but this is one nasty nasty 357 speaking of nasty and beautiful my favorite um uh, semiotic gun first of all my favorite platform 100 percent all time is the 1911 i am a 1911 nut this 1911 is even nuttier so this is a performance center 1911 this is the bob uh the bob grip the bobtail um it is a commander size so it's a little bit shorter Normally they're five inches. This one's like four and three quarter, four and a quarter, um, four and a quarter. Uh, and you can see it's got like the uh, the snake scale style there. Um, it's fluted. And again, just like the other one, every single thing is made for this gun. The scales on this are just absolutely beautiful. But um, literally the, the trigger dialed in perfection um everything about this piece unloaded everything about this piece is just freaking wonderful i mean wonderful wunderbar so um yeah I, I have to say of all the uh of all the guns this is definitely my favorite something about the look of this one the two-tone with the orange and black the fluted the fact that it's you know, hand, handmade. This puts it right up there with, with some of your better guns. Now you can get a standard 1911 from Smith and Wesson, and it's going to be a 1911, just a, a 1911. Then you can go and you can pay for big money for like a Wilson and Ed Brown and and all or Nighthawk and all, all these uh, all these other gun manufacturers, and you're gonna this is gonna compete with those. It's just so well done. So that is my list of favorites. Um, and I, I do have others like my favorite pocket gun. I've got a little airweight hammerless uh, 38 special from Smith & Wesson. And this is all kinds of stuff. But this is it. This is the main stuff. This is the main stuff. So today I'm going to go out and I'm going to carry not my favorite, but it's a beast. It's a beast. This thing for a Ned Foss, man, this is kind of crazy. And I will belt my D bad little big man. So that's it for this one. A list of favorites. We got done kind of quick. I am Donnie B. All day. Until next video.